Now, you know when you're wearing a good facial mask. You know when you're wearing a good facial mask, when you can feel it tightening on the skin, when you can feel it grabbing your skin, when you can actually see your skin looking plumper and firmer even before you rinse the mask off. I like a good facial mask, and I like those anti-aging facial masks that I can feel on my skin that help to tighten and firm my skin and when I rinse them off my skin is just feeling good and looking good so what I'm gonna do for you today I'm gonna share one such facial mask with you I have an anti-aging facial mask this is gonna grab your skin and this is no joke when you apply this mask on the skin you're gonna feel it grabbing the skin you're gonna feel it tightening the skin and when you rinse off you are gonna be blown away at how amazing your skin is looking so if you're looking for that if you're looking to get rid of wrinkles tighten and firm the skin and get a natural glow at the same time follow me to the kitchen and I'll show you how to whip this up really really quick I'm gonna be using some rice in this recipe you can choose to use white rice brown rice purple rice or even black rice and what I'm gonna be doing with this rice I'm gonna make a rice paste so the first thing I'm gonna do to make the paste is to blend the rice so I'm going to use about a quarter cup of the rice and I'm going to place this in the blender and then I'm going to blend. Now after blending this is what it's going to look like and I'm going to move ahead and pour this into a bowl and next I'm going to be adding water to this rice, hot water that is. So I'm going to use about a half a cup of hot water, boiling water, pour it over the rice. Now the next step is to pour this back in the blender. This is what we have, rice cream. So here we have our rice cream. Take a look at this. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this to the side and we're going to move on to our next ingredient. Now take a look at our next ingredient. Here I have banana and we're using ripe banana. Okay, the riper the better. This is going to help to boost the collagen production in the skin, hydrates the skin, get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines and also it's going to help to clear the skin of spots and blemishes. So what I'm going to do with the banana, I'm going to use about a half of a large banana and I'm just going to peel it like I'm showing here. Now the skin part of the banana have a lot of benefits for clearing the skin of spots and blemishes so we're not going to waste that either. We're going to use both the banana flesh and the banana peel. So we're chopping the banana in small pieces for easier blending. And then we are going to move on to scraping the inner portion of the banana where you find most of the nutrients in the banana, which is great for the skin. So we just scrape and there we have our banana peel. Discard this. So what we're going to do, we're going to place this in the blender. And then we're going to move on to the next ingredient. Now here we have our next ingredient, which is aloe vera gel. And I'm just going to cut the aloe leaf. Like I'm showing here. I'm going to cut about two ounces of the aloe vera leaf. We're going to extract the gel extracting the gel we're just peeling both sides halo is going to also help to brighten the skin clear the skin of spots and blemishes it's going to help to hydrate the skin and it has been used in many skincare products it also helps with sunburn so once we get the aloe vera gel out we're just going to drop it in the blender along with the banana and we're just going to give it a scrape right here make sure we get everything out of the aloe vera now now to start we're gonna blend the aloe vera and the banana together so we're just gonna cover and we're gonna blend and this is what it looks like your blended aloe vera and banana we are gonna just pour this in a bowl 
And this is how fraudy and nice this is. We're still going to use the blender, guys, but I like to blend the things separately. So, banana and halo vera gel. And now let's put this facial mask together. Now you can choose to store this in the fridge for about seven days. It's going to get a little dark, but that's okay. So moving back to our rice cream, we're going to use one tablespoon of the rice cream in this recipe. Put this in our blender. And for our aloe vera banana mix, we're going to be using two tablespoons. And we're adding this to the blender. Next, we're going to use uh, some rose water. And I'm using about a teaspoon of rose water. Pour this in. We're also going to use a bit of oil in this remedy. And you're going to use oil of choice. Today I'm using grapeseed oil. However, go ahead and use some coconut oil, aloe vera oil, or even some olive oil. For those of you with oily skin, this recipe is great for you. So I'm using a two teaspoon of the grapeseed oil and I'm pouring this in. And now we're going to cover and blend. You can even choose to put a little bit of a green tea or matcha powder in this recipe and blend. I'm going to add an optional ingredient to this. Here I have some dried orange peel. You can choose to use lemon peel, lime peel, or you can choose to use a little bit of a uh, lemon juice in this recipe. So I'm going to use about a quarter teaspoon of the dried orange peel and I'm pouring this in. And this is also going to keep it from getting dark, okay? So we're just going to cover and we're going to blend. Now our facial mask is ready and let's pour this out. You can see how thick and creamy this mask is. Let's get everything out. Just pour it in a jar. Here it is guys. This is your anti-aging facial mask. Your banana rice anti-aging facial mask a perfect facial mask for those on the go looking for a quick solution to the skin now this anti-aging facial mask is one mask that you can actually use daily on your skin okay so what you're gonna do you're gonna dip in and you're gonna cover your entire face with the facial mask so just apply wow the fragrance is amazing guys so cover your entire face with your facial mask and I like to apply the facial mask as if I'm applying a lotion on my skin just apply it in circular motion on the skin and it feels amazing on the skin moving on to the next side and we're doing the same thing on the opposite side once you have the side cover focus on your forehead especially for those of you with wrinkle on your forehead and then your nose your upper lips upper lip wrinkle and this one could go as close as possible under your eyes and once this is done you're gonna sit with this on your skin for about 30 minutes now after 30 minutes the mask is gonna dry on the skin what you're gonna do you're gonna rinse this off preferably with some warm water you're gonna pat dry the skin and then you're gonna apply your favorite serum and your favorite moisturizer you want to use this facial mask at least two to three times per week for best result store it in the refrigerator use it chill and you're on your way to amazing looking skin okay store this in the refrigerator for up to about seven days so when you make this batch use it up in the week okay